Hi, I'm Rebecca. Um, I recognize that at this time during the year, you're probably thinking about when is the school year going to end. Um, and hopefully with that, you're thinking about maybe taking your kids to an amusement park, um, which is kind of a rite of passage for a lot of physics kids. Um, and when you're there, it's such an opportunity to teach kids about free fall, to teach kids about what happens when you're in free fall. Most kids will say that they feel weightless. And if you probe a little bit deeper, a lot of kids actually think that their weight is actually changing, that downward force on their body. So what I'm gonna share with you is an activity that you can do at, um, uh, at a public building, or hopefully in your school you have an elevator that can mimic a little bit of what you can actually do at an amusement park ride to see what happens to your body and to your sensations and to the forces on your body as you're going down an elevator or up. So for that, we're gonna use our mobile phone. Most mobile phones um, have got an accelerometer on them and there are plenty of different apps you can use. So come follow me into the elevator here. So what I've got is um, an app that is measuring g-force, which isn't really a force and is not exactly a measure of acceleration either. Um, so that takes a little bit of background for your kids. But basically what this thing is telling me by proxy is that there is an upward force on my body, a normal force that's equal to the weight downward. We're going to take a look at what happens to that normal force upward on my body when we go down the elevator. So we're gonna go down five floors and let's take a look. Right now that g-force is reading a value of about one, and we are going to start moving down. And when we do that, kids will notice right away that they feel a little light and that that normal force decreases a little bit. It doesn't go to zero. And when we stop, we start accelerating. Again, we'll see that that number goes up. If we go up the elevator, we'll see something a little bit different happen. In fact, just about the opposite. And by having kids draw force diagrams on their bodies as they go up and down, they have to really explicitly recognize that it's not the weight on their body that's changing because the gravitational force field's not changing, their mass isn't changing. So there you have it, a very simple activity that you can do um, and expand upon if you get the chance to take them to an amusement, uh, amusement park.